Hey everyone, before we speak about Real Betis once again, we have to speak about our new ownership potentially. It is said, as per Sky Sports, that Sheikh Hasim's bid for MUFC will be at Old Trafford tomorrow. His most senior personnel advisors will be there, and he remains 100% committed to buying Manchester United. That is good news, but we focus on the football. And Ten Hag has said that Anthony is out for tomorrow's game. So too Martial, who has been seen training with the first team again, but he's still not fit enough for this game. Anthony being out is a bit of a blow, but we have Pellistri. He has confirmed that Garnacho is also going to be out for a couple weeks just like Eriksen, and that is a concern because he was a player that we could depend upon whether coming on from the bench or starting. Both Bruno and Casemiro are one yellow card away from a suspension and Ten Hag has said that he will play them both as we are playing a good opponent in Real Betis and he will use his best players and his best team and that is true to the testament of his winning mentality that he will always want to win every single game it is up to bruno and casemiro not to get that yellow card i feel more for casemiro getting a yellow than bruno because casemiro is more likely to make tackles real betis thought to themselves that they perhaps would give us more of a challenge at Old Trafford. But we seem to take the game away from them. And now they will have it all to play for at their home stadium. And they will look to come at us with great energy from the first whistle. Their fans will be behind them. And with nothing to lose, they will be looking to cause an upset. I fully trust that Ten Hag will have the team ready for this game. To ensure that we can go through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. One particular thing that I wanted to speak about is the fact that our squad is not able to cope on all the fronts that we are playing but yet we find ourselves competing on all fronts we could be looking at three trophies by the end of this season and that's only if we apply ourselves it will have its challenges but it is possible Real Betis will not back down, that's a fact. Pellegrini will fully expect this team to give a go. He will expect them to at least put us under pressure, especially because they are playing at home. And we will need to be ready for that. We will need to ensure that we don't allow the home crowd to take the game away from us mentally. Physically, the game is gone. It will take a lot for Real Betis to overturn this deficit with the factor of the goals being 4-1 after the first leg. But make no mistake, Ten Hag fully expects his team to go out there and win. That's what we expect. It is the mentality and the standard that has been set by Ten Hag this season. And it needs to remain that way. On a more technical side, Ten Hag might look to have made changes in this game. But after confirming that Casemiro and Bruno both will start, we will be seeing a strong team start against Real Betis. Sabitzer is once again available after a slight period out with an injury 
which is a welcome return after Casemiro got his red card and is out for four domestic games. This is a kind of game where Ten Hag and the team would simply like to just have a good performance, get a good result, which allows us to go through to the quarterfinals and move forward to the next game. As a simple starting eleven, I would like to see De Gea, Malassia come in for sure, Martinez partnering Lindelof and Delo at right back, Casemiro alongside Savica, Sancho on the left, Pellistri on the right after a very good cameo against Real Betis, and Bruno and Vegost. This is the team I would go with for the game against Real Betis as we have a very good cushion to allow us to have good composure on the ball. But it is also a team that allows for good changes with Shaw, Varane and of course perhaps Fred and Rashford getting a good rest and Juan Bissaka perhaps getting a game at the weekend which will be more tougher against Fulham. This will be a game for Ten Hag to have a look at a bit more things in detail as where we can improve and how we can look in the game against Fulham. But it is also a game for Ten Hag to see exactly where the mentality of these players are in a situation where we are leading on aggregate. The boss was asked if we can be unbeaten for the rest of the season and he simply said we are capable of it but we have to now show it again. We can't think too far ahead and we must take it game by game. Remember after City we had an unbeaten run? It's possible again. Believe in Ten Hag and believe in this team. Thanks for watching. If you want more content on Manchester United, like, share and subscribe.